The Komodo dragon is the world's biggest living reptile. The enormous reptiles can only be found in Indonesia. They live primarily on the islands of Rinka and Komodo, but they may also be found on other islands in the region. These apex predators can devour practically anything, including carrion, deer, pigs, lesser dragons, and even enormous water buffalo. They use secretion and patience when hunting, waiting for prey to pass by. When prey is available, the dragon leaps into action, eviscerating it with its keen claws and shark-like fangs. Komodo dragons are equipped with impressive navigation skills and athleticism. It seems like they could spread anywhere in the world, but they haven't. A decade of observations has at last revealed that the dragons essentially never leave the valley where they were born. It's not that they can't. They are capable of traveling many miles and through rough terrain if necessary. They just don't seem to feel like it. But why is that? Even though Komodo dragons are fascinating and well-known, we still know relatively little about their natural history. Komodo dragons most likely formed in Australia and moved westward into Indonesia, according to a new study based on fossil data. Scientists have found what appears to be over 300 million-year-old Komodo dragon bones in Queensland. Bones have been found in other places, suggesting that the dragons certainly lived outside Indonesia. The Komodo loves extreme heat and seems to have thrived in the harsh climate of Indonesia's tropical islands for millions of years. Also, they thrive as the dominant predators on the handful of islands they inhabit. These factors have probably led them to Indonesia back in the day and decided to stay since these conditions are only found in a few places. Another cuter theory is that the Komodo doesn't like to take risks. Researchers don't know for sure, but they suspect moving is too risky for the dragons, who could find themselves in short supply of water, food, or mates if they make an incorrect move. Research shows that even though they experience food shortages, natural disasters, and human activity threaten local populations, they still don't move. Actually, many island creatures show similar homebody characteristics, despite the great lengths it took for their ancestors to get there. These are currently the two most plausible reasons that Komodo dragons haven't conquered the world. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content in the future.